Goodbye and welcome to Silly Bob Science. Or should that be season's greetings and welcome to Silly Bob Science? Oh boy, it's a cold day today. It's so cold, I had to be chiselled out of my bathtub this morning. My water pistol fired out slushies and my hot dog wasn't hot. It was just a dog. If they were handing out an award to the coldest of seasons, then I'm sorry spring, summer and autumn, the prize would most certainly go to winter. But what is winter? The earth spins in space in such a way that at different times of the year, different parts of it are closer to the sun. The sun here is represented as this potato. So winter is really the time of year when you're furthest from the potato. I, I mean the sun. This means that when it is winter in the northern part of the world, it's summer in the southern part. And these parts are known as hemispheres. Where I live, Scotland, winter can bring snow and ice. But it's also a time where lots of people celebrate Christmas and the New Year. In celebration of winter, we're going to do a couple of experiments from a science kit that I bought. Winter Wonderland. Just so you know, I'm not being paid to do this. I just wanted to do something wintry, and this kit looked like fun. The experiments are all about snow, which is formed when temperatures are low, and the water vapour in the air forms ice crystals in the clouds, until they're too heavy to stay up there, and they fall as snowflakes. The first experiment is to make some artificial snow. It uses a beaker of water, something the kit calls snow powder, Snow powder is really a type of sodium salt called sodium polyacrylate, a polymer with the ability to absorb 100 to 1000 times its mass in water. It's usually used in nappies or diapers as they're known in some parts of the world. They also supplied some glow powder. I'm pretty sure real snow doesn't glow. Remember, if you're doing any experiments, always make sure you're safe and that you have a responsible adult with you. The experiment's very simple, actually. We just add the snow powder to the liquid, and before you can say Jeremy the Christmas Sausage, you have snow! Oh, let's just add the glow powder for fun. Snow problem! The next experiment in the kit involves making a crystal tree. They supply a cardboard tree, some coloured dye, some glitter and a crystal solution. We basically decorate the tree template and fill the tray with the crystal solution. Overnight, the crystal solution is drawn into the cardboard and the water in the solution evaporates, leaving only the crystals now attached to the tree. The coloured dye didn't seem to do much. Maybe we watered it down too much. Oh well, I think I prefer it white. It looks more frosty. Mm-hmm. The kit also lets you make a snowflake decoration. What do you think? We had some extra dough left over for the snowflake kit, so we made a little snowman. Thanks for watching our wintry video. If it's winter where you are right now, I hope you enjoy celebrating it in any way that you want to. Hello!